This is Joshua Everhart. Uh, I will be narrating this video. Of note, the implants used in this video are manufactured by Arthrex and the authors have no relevant financial disclosures. At the beginning of this video, we're using an arthroscopic grasper to assess tendon excursion of the subscapularis. We've already performed the three-sided soft tissue release, so at this point there is adequate excursion and we can re reduce the upper rolled border onto the lesser tuberosity footprint. At this point, we're going to pass our sutra lasso. Um, this is a right shoulder, and we're passing a left curved lasso through the upper one-third of the subscapularis. This upper one-third tissue tends to be more stout. So we're passing our lasso here, which will be retrieved with an arthroscopic grasper. At this point, we'll use this to shuttle the fiber tape. This is a two millimeter braided non-absorbable suture made by Arthrex. There's no clinical evidence to suggest that one non-absorbable suture is better than the other, but if we prefer fiber tape. The bone bed is now prepared with the arthroscopic burr. Again, we're preparing the upper margin of the lesser tuberosity for anchor placement. This is burr down to bone. At this point, we're using the awl. And the, again, this is a for 4.5 millimeter biocomposite anchor, the swivel lock C anchor by Arthrex. This is compatible with a fiber tape. At this point, after the anchor is threaded, we take the slack out of the fiber tape and then we simultaneously reduce the subscapularis with a slight tension and then we're also placing the anchor. This is hammered down until the biocomposite anchor um, is in contact with bone and then this needs to be fully inserted. This is a knotless anchor system, so at this point we're using an and on cutter. We'll cut the fiber tape. And for complete tears of the subscapularis of the upper third, this is that should be adequate fixation. 